lecture we will define the basic concept of all the cores, which is homotopy between continuous functions. The mathematical implementation of the concept of passing from a topological space X to Y in a continuous fashion is based on the same concept for continuous maps. Definition, let F and G be two maps from X to Y. And a homotopy between F and G is a continuous map H from X cross I. I, I remind you that is the unity interval, to Y with the following properties. That H restricted to X cross zero which is the base of this cylinder. If we draw this on the basis X, it turns out to be like a cylinder. So it has a zero level and the one level corresponding to the point in the unity interval zero and one. So when we restrict H to X cross zero, we would be getting the function F and restricting H to the uh, level one in the cylinder, so X cross one, we get G. So in such a case, we will write F uh, tilde G, this symbol here, which means that F is homotopic to G. Let's see this graphically. We have two copies of X, one at the level zero, one at the level one. And on each of them, there is the function F at level 0 and G at the level 1. Now a homotopy between F and G is a function that fills this square. This square corresponds to X cross I. This is the unit interval and H. So it fills all the points inside this cylinder with the basis X. And uh, which map as well to, to Y, just like F and G. Therefore, you see that when we restrict to some intermediate level, usually the parameter going from 0 to 1 is called T. So when we restrict at the T level, we will have a function that is something in between F and G. When we are close to 0, the function will look like F. When we are close to 1, cross-section 1, mm, the function will look like G. At this point, it is hard to present the meaningful examples of homotopic and ho non-homotopic maps. Anyhow, these are some examples, um, but in the le le next lectures we will present results needed to prove this statement. So we will not really see why these are homotopic or not, but we will see why in the next lectures. Let's start with x equal to the um, unit interval itself. Then any two maps fg from i to any y, so in any topological space y, are homotopic. In this case, if x is the unit interval itself, I can take any two maps, f and g, and I, I can always extend these two maps to this full square, in this case it will be i times i, filling up uh, these, uh, these two restrictions, uh, filling up this, the cylinder in such a way the restriction to 0 and 1 will be f and g. Second example is the following. Assume that x and y, x is the, co the domain and y is the codomain, are the circles S1, and f is the identity map from S1 to S1, and g is the constant map in a point P of S1. Then f and g are not homotopic. In other words, the constant map to a point and the identity map from S1 to S1 are not homotopic, whereas before they were. If we replace S1 with S2 in the example number 2, 
S2 being the sphere in R3, then again we get the same statement that the identity map on S2 is not homotopic to the constant map P. But in this case we will not be able to prove this in this course. This will require higher technology that we will not see in this course. Consider this de definition now. Let F, a map from X to Y, be a continuous map uh, between topological spaces. Then we say that F is a homotopy equivalence if there exists a G going backwards, going from Y to X, such that, um, as opposed to homeomorphisms, which required the, both the compositions G composed with F and F composed with G being the identity. In this case, we just require these two compositions to be homotopic to the identity. One identity on X and the other identity of Y. This is the concept of homotopy equivalence between two topological spaces X and Y, which is much more relaxed than uh, homeomorphism be because of course if the G composed with F is exactly the identity it would be homotopic to the identity taking as a homotopy just the trivial extension in X cross uh, the interval and the same here so equality between maps is a very special case of homotopy if there exists a homotopy equivalence between X and Y we will say that X and Y have the same homotopy type. In principle, the question of establishing whether X and Y have the same homotopy type is almost hopeless. Indeed, finding a candidate homotopy equivalence from X to Y, or alternatively showing the non-existence of homotopy equivalences, is almost always impossible. Algebraic topology tackles these questions by means of functors to algebraic categories in the attempt of simplifying the category of topological spaces. Let's see, if you, let's see a few examples. First group of examples is the following. We consider the unit interval I and then its cross product with itself and then the unit and dimensional disk uh, dn and its interior and also the the n dimensional euclidean uh, space rn so they all have the homotopy type of a point and this means that from a homotopy type point of view they are all trivial there is not much to say about any of them in the spaces of the example one, if we remove a point from them, we may get two possible um, homotopy types of spaces. The first one is a homotopy type of a point if P is in the boundary of the, of the topological space. On the other hand, if we remove a point not in the boundary of these spaces, we always get a homotopy type which is different from a point, so they become non-trivial from, uh, from a homotopy point of view. Finally, let's consider the last example. We always have that the n-dimensional sphere as Sn has never the homotopy type of the k-dimensional sphere as k if n is different from k. In this course, we will be able to see this fact just for S1 and SK, for K greater. The statement for any other spheres require results that will not be covered in the course. We finish the, the lecture by giving uh, more definitions. Let A be a subtopological space of X and R be a, f a continuous function from X to A. Then R is a retraction. If the composition from A to X composed with R back to A 
is the identity map on A. A retraction R from X to A is a deformation retraction if the composition from X to A back to X is homotopic to the identity. So here is a condition on the um, the other composition of the maps we have here. So retraction means that we from A to A we have the identity. The condition for being a deformation retraction deals with the other composition from X to X. Here nothing is required about it. Here we require that it is homotopic to the identity. There is just one last definition. Uh, it is a particular case of the formation of retraction, and probably it will be used just once in this course, but I will introduce it right now. It is when um, the deformation retraction R has the supplementary property. So the homotopy whose uh, existence is assumed here by this condition, from X to X, between the identity and this composition, is such that the restriction of the homotopy to each level in A, so to A times the point T, the number T between 0 and 1, so I'm restric restricting the homotopy just to this uh, um, to this cross section of A cross I is the identity. In other words, the homotopy will not change the, the kind of function that uh, it assumes when restricted to this uh, cylinder A times I, and it will always be the identity. Whenever I just take a cross section of this cylinder, I always get the identity map on A. So if there is exi exists such a homotopy, then we will say that the deformation retraction R is a strong deformation retraction. A topological space with a homotopy type of a point is called a contracti contractible topological space. Therefore, we have seen that Spaces like the unit interval or Cartesian product of the unit interval by itself an arbitrary number of times or the unit disk or the interior of the unit disk or any Euclidean space, they are all contractible. Contractible spaces are those that are trivial from a homotopy point of view, therefore there will not be much to say uh, about them.